always be loyal, square, frank, and earnest in the matters that require the cooperation of brokers, and always speak kindly of competitors, refusing to pass judgment on others from hearsay evidence. Hey, Amanda, I was just... Uh, okay, what? Why are you wearing that? <laughs> well, why are you wearing that? You look like you're from the future, not this year, 1913. <laughs> oh, this again. Uh, what are you writing? Ethics of the real estate profession, penned this year, 1913. By you? And why are you writing it down anyway? Well, you see, dear Allison, I was, uh, um, I was just copying it down for memorization purposes, dear friend. I value the importance of frequently reminding myself of its contents. Okay, that I can agree with. And so does NAR. NAR requires that all members take their code of ethics training every two years, and this year is one of those years. That means all realtors must take the training in one of many available ways. Unfortunately, copying it down by hand does not satisfy that requirement. You can go online to nar.realtor and take the online code of ethics training, and I'll leave that link below for you guys. Link. What is this link you speak of? 